hell? I'm coming. Somebody. What happened? Uh. What happened? What ha What happened? I got beat up. Who beat you? Who beat you up? I think it's one of the locals that works here. I don't know. He just came behind me and strangled me. He came behind you and strangled you? Yeah. And I turned around and he punched me a couple times. Hey, is that your hat? Yeah. You pick it up for me. Well, thank you. Thank you. Can you help? Can you... I do need help. Okay. Yeah. I'll get you. I'll get you up. On one condition, though, we have to be friends. Friends? Uh-huh. Oh, I don't know. I ain't, I ain't really from here. Are you from... <laughs> uh. One condition. I told you. One condition. Okay, okay, fine. Fine. Hooray! We'll be friends. Let's go. I'll get you to the doctor's office and uh, help you out there. They'll help shape you up and get you back on your feet. Faster than you can say, help! I, uh, uh, someone came up and strangled me from behind. Okay, it, uh, uh, I don't know. I, I've seen this before. Uh. I've seen this before. Uh. Okay. So uh. first things first, I'm gonna examine your your wounds. Anyways, now that we're friends. What? One of their friends? What? Now that we're friends, what? Now that we're friends, what? Or, now that we're, now that we're friends, what? We're just friends. Are you thinking friendly? <laughs> now that we're friends, now what? We're friends. Uh, Friendship uh, tackle. Uh, you okay? You hit your head pretty hard against uh, that. That glass. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. It'll take a few seconds to get up. Yeah, that's fine. Anyways, thanks for helping me. <laughs> yeah, I slipped. Okay. The okay. floor's pretty wet. Um, here's your hat back. I got it for you. Um, thank you. Thank you. So nice. Uh, you really you... helped me out on this trip. Yeah, no problem. Like I said, I get lost. I get lost all the time. So, hang on, is that? Did you spill jam on yourself? Maybe I'm a messy eater, but Scruffy is too. Scruffy says that I eat like a horse, but it doesn't make any sense. Who's Scruffy? My horse. Oh, yeah. It's a nice name for a horse. Anyways, I want to hear more about your wife. Okay. So, like, how does she turn into a hat? I made her into one. You made her into a hat. Mm -hmm. Did she, like? Did she want to be a hat? I like the thing. So. Oh, you don't know if she wanted to be a hat. It... Well, she was dead. So. Oh. That makes more sense, actually. Um. Well, she's dead. So I'm sorry. Yeah, she died like like uh like three times. Three times? What was Yeah, like like what was the first and third time? Uh well the first time a gator ate her. And then the second time the gator died. And then the third time my hat fell off. <laughs> oh your your hat just fell off and that was it? Well yeah, but you remember that she was my wife too, so that's fair. How did how did your wife die? Like the very very first time. Oh, a Gatorator. Like, well, technically hmm. a man shot her and she fell off a bridge and then a Gatorator. Hmm. I never got your name, Mister. Is he the man from Ohio? Abner. Abner. Abner Ace. Abner Ace. 
Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> well, 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 Abner Ace. Is he the man from Ohio? My name is Mitch Schmidt. Okay. You have a price on your head from the state of Ohio for the death of your wife. Oh, oh, God. Ah, I ain't going back. I ain't going back. I ain't going back. Yeah, I wanted to be your friend. All we had to do was be friends, but instead you're doing this. Why are you doing this? Oh God, Scruffy! Scruffy! What the hell are you? There's this horse. I helped you. We could have been friends. Uh, Hello, nothing to see here. He's sleeping. Oh God. Uh, We could have talked it out. You didn't have to talk. You said you pulled out for you reached for your gun and you said that you had a press on my head. And it didn't have to be this way. You don't have to do this. You didn't give me a choice. You don't have to do this. Uh, you didn't have to come looking for me for a price on my head. You killed your wife. I did not kill my wife. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. A man killed her. That's a pretty th thin alibi. What do you mean? I was riding with her, and then uh, a man that was chasing us, he shot her, and then uh, she fell off a bridge and a Gatorator. And Everybody then, back home knows it was you. Well, he came back and then well, he, he knows was, it. It was not me. It wasn't me. He came back and he told everybody it was me, but it wasn't me. It was someone else. Who else could have been? I don't know. He, 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 he was just a, he was a man that rolled into town, and he was dressed in all brown, and he had uh, one of them fancy hats, and and <laughs> you're bleeding on Scruffy, and uh, I can't help it. You threw a knife at me. I ha you didn't give me a choice. You you reached for your gun. I didn't pull it yet. I, I was just your... gonna have a standoff with you and hopefully get a confession. You reach for your you reach for your knife and you were asking questions and you pressured me and you snuck up on me and you scared me and honestly I don't appreciate any of those things. Well, we was talking. We weren't talking. We were talking and then you started giving all these accusations and then and then you started reaching for your your gun and you said well, there's a price on my hand. I didn't accuse you. I said there is a price on your head from the state of Ohio. And then you reached on my for your gun. How do you expect me to react? Oh shoot! Oh heck! Where are we going? Don't worry. I'm figuring it out as we go along. God, it's fucking dark in this. Everything's uh. fine. You're not gonna kill me, are you? Close your eyes. Everything's fine. We can we can talk about this, okay? Okay, well let's wanna... let's talk. I'll... Oh God, Dormammu! I'm so sorry. What the, what's a what's a Dormammu? Dormammu, I had to, and I don't want to hear any of that. I don't want to hear what? any of that. I don't want to hear it. I'm not listening. Everything's fine. Not actually upset with me. You'd understand. You'd understand. Oh god. How do I get over there? How do I get over I there? I think it knows you want to kill me. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm figuring it out as I go along. Okay. Okay, okay. Is that a waterfall? Oh God. Everything's fine. Okay, so now now is the time to talk to me. Oh, are you gonna, we can step away from the edge. Okay, I'm gonna prop you up right here and we're just gonna talk about it, okay? Oh. Okay. Here, let me prop you up better. Okay. Oh, 
Oh shoot. Okay, hold on. I keep banging your head. Uh, 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 so you you come from Ohio and then you 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 come up to me and you tell me that there's a price on my head. That's and you, right. And you have a gun. I do have a gun and it's loaded. Don't touch it. It's very yeah, dangerous. Well, listen. The marshal has put posters out with your face on it, and honestly, the price isn't that isn't even that high. Okay, you this would be my first. You'd be you'd been my first one. Okay. What do you mean I would have been your first one? I'm a bounty hunter. Okay. So you isn't were gonna obvious? kill me. What do you no, mean? No, we could have talked it out. You could have came in alive or something. I don't know. You would you would have been my first catch. And it would have been, you know, a reputable one because, you know, like a man killed his wife, went on the run. You I know, didn't kill my really wife, though. For, it I would have been really good for me, honestly. I didn't kill, I didn't kill my wife, though. That's the thing. I was framed, man. What? I was, I, I said I was framed. I, I don't know what to believe no more. You, you keep saying about how I was too quick to act, and then, and then now you're saying that you're a bounty hunter, and I feel like I made the right judgment call there, especially now collecting all of my uh, facts. Okay, or his hands I know to be up. it looks bad, but I was like, I had this whole thing in my head where I was going to find you, and I was going to like, you know, hold you up, but not really. Uh -huh. As I was like reaching for my gun, because uh -huh. I, I could have shot you any second, kind of thing. Uh -huh. And you just really immediately went for the cleaver to my chest. Oh, what did, you were reaching for it, and then you said, "Which that's a fair said, move." I'll admit it was a mm -hmm. fair move. I didn't see it coming, that's for sure. Yeah, well, I didn't see you coming, but here you are, knock, knock, knocking on on Valentine's door, and you're like, "Hello, it's me." I don't. What was your name? Melvin. It's not Mitch, it's Melvin. And you lied to me. I bet you lied about it's my, wanting it's to be my friends, bounty, too. You it's my bounty hunter name. You lied about being friends, too. Well, I wanted to be your friend before I knew who you were. Oh, I can't be friends don't? with... Well, oh, but but now we're, still you don't? we're still talking. We're still talking. We're oh, still you talking. Want to be friends now? Yes, I do want to be friends. Listen, I don't... I didn't know if I should be friends with my targets or not. Ah, but your uh, targets... You were my target, but now I've seen I'm seeing things differently. Okay. Oh, I'm still bleeding. This hurts. I I made a bad judgment call. You did like make said, a bad judgment call. The price on your head isn't even that high. Okay. How much is it? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Yeah, it costs more. It costs less than the actual train ticket to get out here. That's it? Three dollars? Yeah. Listen. Wait, wait really? Listen. Why, why would you come all the way over here then for twenty dollars? I told you you're gonna be my first my first target. Okay? I, like I had high hopes for this one. I don't but like I, that. Now I'm <laughs> now I'm seeing this life really ain't for me, okay? You've proven that. Well, how, how do I know that, you know, you're, you're gonna actually forget it? How, how do I know that you're, you know, if I, if I, we go walk away from this, and then, and I, I'll bring you to a doctor that you're not just gonna come back and try and, and kill me for twenty dollars? Well, because it ain't worth it no more. If it was, if you were like more money in your head, I would have maybe, but you're not. It's not. So I ain't gonna do nothing. You knew how much it was this entire time. I told you it was an easy one to pick up. Nobody else wanted it. I was the only one going after you. Well, that's good. That's refreshing. That's nice. How did you find me here? I, I was just searching around, and I went to Valentine. I heard, I heard there was a butcher there, and then you know, lo and behold, and here you are. I even asked the guy in the inn about you. He said there's a butcher in Valentine. He pointed your direction. Okay, okay. Let's see. Uh, options. I let you go. Ugh. I get you. I get you to a doctor. You get to. You get better. You have a wife. 
No. You got kids? No. Any friends? You. Okay, so nothing of value would be lost if you die. Um. Wait, wait, you know, you'll you'll lose a you'll lose a valuable I friend. I really lost a valuable friend when you tried to kill me for a bounty. I didn't try to kill you. I tried to hold you up. Well, were you gonna kill me? No. If I didn't have to. Was it? Is it dead or alive? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's nice. And, it, and it's ten dollars if you're dead. I feel like I should be worth way more, but I am. I'm not. Well, I don't make the price as the marshal did. Well, who's the marshal? Marshal Taylor, you know. Still, he's still alive. I know the old geezer. He can. He's walking with a cane now and everything. It's crazy. God. He can barely stand up straight. So what do you say, friend? You want to help me out? Are there more like you? How many do people still talk about me? I told you nobody else took the contract. Well, they... uh, uh, but we sure know about you. Whole town is talking. Uh. Uh. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Okay, fine. I'll take you back. <gasps> really? To an early grave. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Abner, no. <laughs> no, Abner. Oh, oh. oh, wow. That didn't really oh. go that far. I'm still here. Yeah, that didn't really. You didn't go as far as I thought you would go. No, I'm, I'm still laying here. Out on the ledge. Yeah. Well, now I know that you'll betray me. If I ever come back, you're a dead man, Abner Ace. Why'd you have to say that? Now I actually have to do... Well, you I threw did. me off a waterfall. Well, I didn't really throw you off. I just kind of... Okay, hold on. We'll do this again. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay, see? I'm not all that bad. You're just gonna throw me off again. You're just gonna throw me off again. Hush, little baby. Don't you, say you Abner, hurt. stop it. Will Abner's you cut that out? Throw you off this this isn't funny phone. anymore. This isn't funny anymore, Abner. Abner, please. We're friends. You don't want to kill a friend, right? If anyone's watching, other bounty hunters, this is what's gonna no. happen to you if you no. come for me with my wife ever again. No, please. No. No! God damn it! Why the, okay, yay! I did it. Scruffy, we got our promise. What happened today? We can't tell nobody about it except for Mr. Jack, Mr. Scout, uh, Miss uh, Miss Delilah, Miss Minnie, Miss Millie, and uh, we could tell the rest of the camp, like Mr. Turtle, and uh, all those other people too. But nobody else. Oh, Scruffy. Oh, gosh. Hello. Just gonna wash my knives and cleaver from all the butchering I was doing. Miss Lily? Oh my god, is I... <laughs> Miss Lily! Why don't you tackle? Hi! It's so good to see you! It's so good to see you too! How are it's you? A... Um, I'm great! How are you? I'm... I've been better, but I'm good. It's good to see you now. Miss Lily, it's been so long since I've seen you last. I got lost again. 
and somehow somehow I got found but um anyways what what have you been up to awesome uh, stuff some cool cool badass stuff <laughs> okay well I, it's always I like that we run into each other all the times when I do visits and sees you and I don't get lost out in the out in the uh out in the woods with with scruffy I'm really good to see you again. Oh, is is Mr. Mr. Scout and Miss Dakota still uh still still alive and kicking? Oh yeah, they they still in man man hold. I saw Dakota earlier today. Oh, you saw Miss Dakota earlier today? Yeah. I'll have to send her and Mr. Scout a telegrams and see uh see if 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 they're still around. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, do you happen to know um about a man named Melvin? Oh yeah, Uncle Melvin. Mm -hmm. Uncle Melvin? No, he's my uncle. Oh. <laughs> Why? Just curious. So uh, what does Uncle Melvin look like? Uh. Uh, he's, he's, um, you see, he does not wear a shirt. Uh, he's oh. got, like, a small n nose and, okay. uh... Okay. Oof. <laughs> uh, he's, you see, uh... Oh, uh, last I saw, he, he had this big ponytail. Okay. Um, but then it was shaved back a little bit, I think. Oof. Okay, we're, uh... I met a Melvin earlier today, and... I just wanted to, I thought it was your uncle, but it's not. And now that's good because he was really mean. Oh, shucks. Uh, uncle Mama's really nice. Oh, that's, yeah. that's relieving. Oh, that's so relieving. I thought for a second there, uh, so you still, you still, uh, you still making delicious goodies? Sure. Oh, man. You always, you always made the best stuff there, Miss Lily. Well, I'm gonna um, let me run over to the telegrams uh, real quick, and I'm gonna send Miss Dakota and Miss Mister Scout one, and I'll be right back. Okay. Sure. I gotta see if I can find Mama. Okay. Find out if she's still mad at me. Okay. <laughs> well. I can't find Mama. Oh no. You said, is she, could she have, uh, has she have gone to sleep or something like that? Maybe. It's just that the last, the last thing she said before riding off was, I'll deal with you later. She said that I'll to you or to me? <laughs> well, she said that to me. Oh, okay. Wait, why would she deal with you? What, what happened? What did you, what, what happened? Uh, I might have done something without asking her permission. Did you kill a bounty hunter? <laughs> no, no, not quite like that. Me neither. You did what? What did you do? Like what? Huh? Uh, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> hey, slowly, earlier today, a man from Ohio. He came here and he was a bounty hunter and he said that I had a price on my head for me killing my wife in Ohio, which you and I both know isn't real, and he tried to kill me and then I killed him and threw him off a waterfall. Okay, now it's <sighs> now it's your turn to tell me a secret. <sighs> His name was Melvin and I got really scared that I killed your uncle real quick. <laughs> He's not your uncle, though. He's not your uncle. Okay. 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 Uh, so, since I last saw you, uh, I might have robbed a few banks here and there. <laughs> Just a few. Okay. Uh, and this time, I might have. I love the bank, but without Mama, and 
I've only ever loved Banks with Mama, and now that I did one without her, I think she's very, very upset with me. That's alright, that's alright, that's alright. <laughs> alright, clear the way. My goodness. That's alright. Throws of passion, I understand. <sighs> So if you put a yeah right under the glass here of the door, like this, we can yep we can lift uh, <laughs> we can lift up the glass, and she can kind of sneak in. This is this is him. Okay. It's almost like you want to try uh kind of try sitting uh like you gotta slip through the glass. Oh, I see. And then uh, slowly sit on the crate and then stand up that kind of thing. <laughs> Wow, you're kind of really good at that. Thanks. Yeah, I try. Just promise me you ain't wanted or nothing and law kept you in there. No, I'm I'm a train conductor. <laughs> I'm a, I don't oh, right. Yeah. Thanks. Well, I'd say I thank Lily over there because uh, she was the one that had the crate nearby. Thank you, Miss Lily. <laughs> All right. Um. I, I apologize. Uh, I'll get out of your guys' way. Oh, you're all right. <laughs> Feel better. Thank you. What happened? What happened to this gentleman? Found him up, uh, up over near uh, Granite Pass. Look like I tripped off a uh, off a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh gosh! Is he alive? Oh, he very much is. He won't be going nowhere on our watch. <laughs> yep. We're just gonna get him comfortable. We'll give it another five, ten minutes. If uh, if a medic don't show, we'll just uh, alert the local medics here in town to work okay. on stitching up his uh, yeah, stitching him up. <laughs> You two know this fella? Or? No, we uh, oh, we was outside no. of the bathhouse when you came and asked him. We're just here because you guys needed the box. That's why. Oh, I'm very appreciative of that. Yeah, no problem. I've got, uh, once I get this fella comfortable, I could uh, give you a couple of bucks for your trouble. Oh, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, don't worry. He's about to sit. Uh, I'll, I'll go put it back. <laughs> yeah, I'll help you with that, Miss Lily. Hope he's okay. Thank you. Hey, Silly. <laughs> they found him. Oh, that's good. That he's, well, that must be a good thing, right? No. He's, he's, he's okay. What, is, what if he's, what if he wakes up and he's like, this is what happened? <laughs> but, maybe, maybe. This the mama thingy will be so mad at you. I gotta steal life. that body, Miss Lily. <laughs> oh God! I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do something. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. I don't know how to do this. I can't do this right now. There's two of them. In. Are those lawmen? Are those lawmen? There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a doctor that just came into town. Oh God! What do I do? What do I do? Should I, should I escape? Should I go to, should I go to Van Horn? Should I stay here? He, maybe he doesn't remember me. Maybe it's a good, good chance to do this kiss kit at all. Yeah. Maybe to call, to call that. Maybe she, she can help you. Well, maybe. Yeah, maybe Miss Dakota can help me out with something like this. Um, but I, I need to, but what, maybe I should keep an eye on him. And if he walks out and he doesn't remember anything, then I could just, I could just, I could just pick him up and befriend him and then take him really, 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 really far away. And then, um, you know. You, you don't mean to, you don't mean to make him get lost again, do you? Uh, well, I mean, if he's a bounty, he's a bounty hunter. He wants to kill me. What you mean? <laughs> he said he wants to kill me. He said there's $20 on my head in Ohio. $20? 
I know. I'm worth way more than $20. Mr. Scout. Mr. Kodas. Hello. Hello. Fucking Christ, who the hell are you? Did I scare Mountain you? Mountain man? Oh, I'm Abner, Abner Ace. How you doing, Abner? I'm doing all right, how are you? Yeah, been better. Sorry, I didn't mean to sneak up on you and scare you. My friends say that I'm agile and sneaky. Yeah, 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 you, you like that. Yeah, um, well, well, what's your name, sir? Eddie. Eddie, hi. It's good to meet you. Uh, Eddie, by any chance, do you know if Mr. Scout or Miss Dakota is uh, around in town? Yeah, she's uh, she's right down there. Oh, is that her walking towards us in the lot? Yeah. Hi, Miss Dakota. Technically, something terrible might happen. Hi, Miss oh. Dakota. Hi. It's good to see you. Oh my God, I my have fucking so back. much to tell you. Ever, you can't be throwing me around like that anymore. Dakota's getting old. You're not getting old. You don't have that many gray hairs and wrinkles. My hip has fucking sticks in it. That I'm being held together by sticks. Well, I'll give I can't you be my thrown hip. around. I'll give you my Does, hip. Is that how that works? And then we can walk around and go hip hip. Hooray. Yeah, you get it. I have a, I, things are happening. <laughs> oh no, what? Well, first of all, how are you? It's been so long. Is Mr. Scout here? He sent me Scout's a in Sissica. What is Scout? Scout woke up and he said, Oh, I didn't see where the telegrams was from. It definitely came from Sissica, yeah. Sissica. What's, he yeah. Sissica? What's, he from? What's he in Sissy's cuz for? Um, multiple bank robberies, attempted murders. So nothing new. Um, yeah, nothing new, the, the regular old list. Okay. Uh, is there somewhere nice and quiet and scenic we can go to to talk? Um, yeah, we could go to this dock over here. I like Sorry, talking about the you, dock. Are you busy? I just kind of... Uh, no, I was just getting coffee. Did you meet that bald man at the front of the saloon? Yeah, I scared him. I'm agile. Oh, uh, what did you say? I said hello, and he said, ah! Who the oh. fuck sent you, mountain man? That's what he Was said. he nice? He's nice. That's good. I said, where's Dakota? And he pointed at you and I said, what if I was a murderer and I was going to murder Dakota and you just gave me your whereabouts? And then I, what did he say about that? Good, that I'm last, glad that she would. Oh, okay. I didn't say that last part. I just thought it. Right. Okay. Not murdering you, but telling him that. Would you murder me? Would it make you happy? Um, I have a lot of problems uh, that would be solved if I just disappeared. Miss Dakota, if you were to ever yes. die, I would want it to be for my hands. Do you think that if I ever get put up for, uh, what is it called? When they execution, that execution. they would let you do it? Oh, oh uh, no, I've already been put up for that. Maybe, I can ask. Yeah, hey, alright, we can see how we can spin it. Okay, something I'll be happened. dead, so I'm not gonna, what happened? What happened to you? What's wrong? Well, I was out in Valentine, and I was minding my own business, and this man came up, and we started talking. He said, hi, my name's Mitch. And I said, hi, Mitch. My name's Abner. I'm the butcher here in Valentine, and I've got a horse, and his name's Scruffy, and he's my best friend in the entire world. Uh-huh. And he started, he started asking me all these questions about my wife and me, and then he said, wait a minute. I know you. You seem familiar. And then he reached for his gun, and he said, Abner Ace, you have a bounty on your head from Ohio. And then I didn't even think twice, Miss Dakota. I sent a cleaver straight into his head and killed. Good. I knocked that man and I brought him on Scruffy. And I had a long talk with him before I threw him off a waterfall. Did you know that the bounty on my head is worth $20 over at Ohio? Only $20? I am much more expensive than that. You are much more expensive than that. But well, he, he kept That's talking. That's fucked up. He said, this is my first time doing this. You were going to be my first one. Ain't nobody wanted to come and do this one. So I picked it up. And so you were going to be my first one. You didn't even give me a chance to talk to you. You just, you just, you just stabbed me. And I said, well, yeah, you was going to kill me. You admitted you were a bounty hunter. Anyways, I threw him off a waterfall. Uh, and then about a half hour, maybe 40 minutes later, uh, 
these 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 rangers showed up with his body oh and he was still, that's awkward and he was still conscious and i didn't stick around to see if he survived their uh, attempts to save him or not i saw a doctor come into town but uh -huh. uh, he's got purple snake skin boots and a blue coat and with gold buttons on it and he's got a big old fancy hat like yours and he's got some like uh, black stuff around his eyes is now he real sounds name, fucking hideous his real name is oh gosh what was his real name he told me his name was mitch but it turns out it's melvin that was his name melvin and then i told miss lily about it and she said oh, uh, uncle melvin it's <laughs> a really good little impression <laughs> but it wasn't uncle melvin it was a different melvin and i got scared for a second because i thought i killed lily's uncle well, I think that it's insulting that the bounty on your head is only worth $20, and I feel like that it should be absolutely more. Maybe I should find him and send him back to Ohio and tell him that I need a bigger bounty. You could... You could do that. I think that... I'm going to tell you this. I think that bounties do, in fact, scale to the heinous levels and the amount of crimes that you have committed. So... In theory, and in theory, I'm not sure if this is exactly how it works, but in theory, I think if you start committing worse crimes and more of them, that the, the price will start going up slowly. Like maybe you kidnap a really nice person who doesn't deserve anything at all, and you take them out west, and then you build a little cross in the desert, and then you string them up upside down from their feet. And yep. then you let them dry out like that, and they turn into jerky. Wait, so they don't have to deserve anything? No, I shot a man in the head yesterday because he had a good relationship with his father. Oh, yeah, this man didn't have any... I made sure he didn't have a wife or a family or anything before he, uh, before I threw him off of a, a waterfall. Well, you are much better than I am, Abner, and that's probably why your bounty's only $20. So if you want it higher, get worse. What? I don't want any bounty though, but if there is, I want it to be high. Exactly, and that's you're in full control of your own bounty now. But I've done so much. I've done so many things. I've been to Sisica like so what? many times. For what? I've been to Sisica like four or five times. For what though? Uh, attempted murders, assaults, going crazy, killing things. You know, I know a girl, or I knew a girl. Okay. Who got who got crucified? Oh my God. Now, if you tell me that the murderer who crucified this poor girl only had a bounty of $20, I would lose my mind. So, and I think that it would be at least a thousand for something like that. So maybe you got to go fucking crucify somebody. I don't want to crucify nobody. But if you want the bounty to be higher, we all have to do what we have to do to get what we want. I just don't want a bounty in general, but if there is a bounty, I want it to be high. If he's the only one going after the bounty and I get rid of him, then I guess there's no more bounty, huh? Until they send somebody else from Ohio. No, he said they didn't care, but... Oh. Yeah, he said nobody wanted it, and it was his well, first Well, then time. your problem is solved. Good job, Abner. I, I didn't doubt alive. you for a minute. What do you mean my problem is solved? He's still alive, potentially. You think he's going to come back after you? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Most I likely. He's, he seems a little stupid. I tried to keep an eye on him on the doctors, but then I got distracted with some stray cats. Yeah, that'll happen, especially in Valentine. And then I don't know where he is, and I'm not going to waltz in there and say like, Hey, Ranger. Hey, Doctor. Did that man uh, survive? Because they were already asking questions. I was, I was in there, and I said, Is he alive? And he said, Oh, don't worry. This one's not going to die on our watch. And I, I gulped really loud, and he said, Is everything okay? And I said, Yeah. He's like, You know this man? I said, No. Anyways, goodbye. And I, when he said that, you probably should have just taken out your gun and shot the man in the head for, like, a confirmation. There was, like, three rangers and a doctor in there. And then you run away really fast, and they can't catch you. <sighs> I thought about it, but I don't carry guns. You know I like to be up close and personal and up in them butts. That's right. Yeah, that's right. <sighs> God. I don't know how he survived that. I, 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 I gutted him. And I didn't gut him, but I, you know, I, 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 I hit hatchet him and then uh -huh. I stabbed him a couple of times and, uh, -huh. uh, and then I threw him off, uh, the waterfall. I mean, I, I think that bodies are fortified, you know?
What do you think I should do? Um, I mean, you could sit and twiddle your thumbs waiting for that bounty hunter to... Well, you know what? Hold on. Listen, I'll get... we'll do this. I don't know who that man is. However, I will give you $40 to go find him and kill him and bring him to me. Am I a bounty hunter now? Yes. Yes, we're doing this now. He's going to be oh the hunted God. one. Yeah, I'll take that fish. Here's the salmon. Wait, so I have to go hunt him and bring him to you? If you'd like, or you can just leave his body somewhere, depending on how hot it is. Dead or alive. Either or. Oh. I'm not picky. I want that man dead or alive. Oh, gosh. And you go a... up to him and you hold your fucking cleaver to him and you say, I have a bounty from Van Horn. Dakota, what's your last name? Slim. Dakota Slim sends her regards. Yeah, and he's going to say, who the fuck is that? Your worst nightmare. Exactly. Oh, man, how the turntables have turned. The booger man. You're a booger man? Yeah, like the legend, like the ugly man that lives under children's beds. Why do you keep saying you're ugly, Miss Dakota? Because I'm the booger man and I haunt this place. You're not that ugly, Miss Dakota. I have my moments. Yeah, sometimes. So I take it, you're mad. <laughs> Just a bit. Okay. And step off that horse. Okay, all right. Okay. You just, you, you, you just relax, okay? You can't Come blame on. me. Get, you, get can, you can't, Come on. You can't blame me. me for acting as I did, okay? You know, I almost got in trouble for getting stabbed by you. What do you mean you almost got in trouble? You're a bounty hunter. Oh no. I almost got charged with vigilantism. For what? For hunting you down. You told the law you were hunting me down? No. That'd be stupid. Well, how did you almost get charged with vigilantism, whatever that is? Don't worry about it. Does that mean you don't, you don't like religion? What? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that means. Listen, sir. Oh, it's a tree. Tell me if I'm gonna hit a tree, come on. Okay, keep going. Left. My left or your left? Your, uh, my left. So wait, that's this way, okay. Don't, yep. no, don't try nothing. I right, keep going back. Just I don't need going. to go this way, I need to go this way. Uh, a little bit, yeah, a little bit that way, and just keep going. A little Listen, bit, a little bit to your left. I was told if I was coming. seen uh -huh. with you again, I was gonna get in trouble. Okay. Back up, you're getting too close. Sorry, you're slow. A little bit to your left, a little bit to your left. There's a tree coming. My, my left. I said your left. Okay. Okay. That's this way. Yep. Yeah, there we no, go. Just go straight back. Keep going back. Okay. Yep. We're gonna go all the way to the edge here. Okay. Okay. Tell you gotta tell me when I'm getting close. Okay. You got some, you got some distance. 
Listen, okay. I, you're acting like I want to be seen with you. I thought you died. Well, listen, I almost did. If it wasn't for those rangers. You threw you off a cliff twice. Twice. Yeah, but, you know, I just... I, oh! Wait. Not this time. We are... Is it just me or is the air getting thinner? Where Where are we? What are we doing? You find a doctor out here? Maybe. Uh, you... You know, I think just got the wind act out of me. I, I can get on my feet. Oh, you can get on I your feel, feet? I feel pretty good. You know, it's like you, being out here with you in the middle of the night has made me realize how great this country really is. Uh -huh. Just so much beauty, so much wonder. Uh -huh. I'm so happy to be here with you in this moment and okay. to share it with you. And it has really made me think about just what we both are as human uh -huh. beings. You know, me, at first, a bounty hunter right. in, in, in the making. Uh-huh. But now, you know, with my other, uh, you know, things have happened, you know, in uh -huh. a different outlook on life and all that. Things have changed. I'm a changed man, you know, for the better. You know, it's it's going to be great. Are you just saying this because you don't want me to kill you? Yeah. I don't want to die, Evner. I don't want to well, die. Okay, well, don't start saying that because then I'm just going to stop it. Don't okay. let it stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I'm not listening to your cries. Evner, I'm not listening to your cries. <laughs> I'm talking to Scruffy. I'm talking with Scruffy. Listen, Evner, if I let you live, please. are you going to keep trying to come kill me? No, I swear I'll go back to Ohio. Are you saying this just because you don't want me to kill you? Yeah. Oh, why are you making this so hard? <sighs> Evner. I can't, 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 okay, you know what, Mamu, give me a sign, give me a sign, if this is something I'm gonna do, or if it's something that I shouldn't do, just give me a sign, and I'll know, I'll know, you say you give me a sign, right now, Dormammu, Give me a sign! Please tell me! Tell me, tell me you what are, you want no, me to do. There's please. a darkness coming over me. Uh, I feel a storm coming. And this storm feels righteous. And I don't know what this means. <sighs> I gotta do this. Well, what did Miss Dakota said? She said, uh, and she said, Who's Dakota? And she said, She sends her regards. And, and, who's, the, who's Dakota? She paid me $40 to take you out. So the bounty what? hunter got bounty hunted. Yes. Oh no, it's raining. It's raining. Oh god. At least it's Storm not Mamu. lightning and thundering. Oh god. It's raining. Listen, this is empowering my actions though, actually. Oh the Please wind's don't howling. Give it away. Oh my god. The wind's howling. I don't wanna die. Ever. Well I don't wanna die either, but you don't give I'm, me much choice, do you? I'm not gonna try to kill you anymore, I promise. I don't believe you. I've let you go once now. I let you go once, and you, the you first thing you tried to do, go. You tried I, to could, kill I, me. I saw you come out of that doctor's office. I could have taken you right there and then, but I let you live. And what did you do? You come right back here, and you point a gun back at me, and you talk to the law about my name, and Abney's name, and Scruffy's name, and now you know Mr. Dakota's name, so you really can't do nothing. Uh, I, who, I, who's Dakota? I don't know Dakota. No, know no, Dakota. no, 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 no. You're just saying this to try and get me to stop trying to kill you. But you're, but we, we were friends at one point. We were I, friends. Listen, listen. I, I won't, I won't go back to the deputies. I, I won't tell them I was out here with you, and I would, I would just go back home and forget uh -huh. everything. You're okay? my friend. You know so much about me. You know even, you even know my occupation. Right? 
uh, why don't I'll, I'll, I'll turn myself in? You know, it's fine. You want my I, occupation? I, I'll turn myself in. in, in uh, you I'll don't know time. me at all. I, I don't know you. You're right. I don't. I don't know you. I, d I really don't. You really don't. Mm -mm. I really don't know. I'm kind of at your mercy here, Abner. Please. Abner, please. It doesn't have to be like this. It didn't. All the fun times we had together. It didn't have to be like this. Well, here we are. The rain's hit my face, and it's... I don't know if I'm... It's my tears or the rain anymore. You've left me no choice. What do you mean, Abner? What do you mean? We all have a choice. We all have a choice, Abner. Miss Dakota sends her regards. What? No, 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 no! Don't come back this time. In fact, we're going to make sure that you aren't found this time. Thunder Dormammu, so I knew what you wanted me to do. Yeah. <laughs> 